Well, hello there people of YouTube land, this is the Dono Wrestling Fan here today to do yet another one of my ever so lovely and a world famous glitch guides, yes. You know, and I thought I might as well do a glitch guide on again my favorite game of all time, Sonic Adventure 2, because make it special, and you want to know why I'm going to adjust my camera here for one second, but make it special because I've reached 1,000 or more than 1,000 total channel views. That's right, I've gotten over 1,000 people to click on my content, and I can't be thankful enough or grateful enough. For all the support that I've gotten from all the people who watch my content and support it, you know, good job. That's all I can really say. Thanks. And you're doing a good job supporting the channel because you're keeping me interested in doing these videos. Because I know I'm not just doing it for myself. And, judging from the fact that my glitch guides always do really well, I'm thinking about doing lots more of these. And today, if you read the title, yes, I'm going to be teaching you the Super Bounce in Sonic Adventure 2. So let's start. I think the best level to show you off the Super Bounce with is going to be City Escape. And it's just for a really silly reason. I'm using the GameCube version as, well, I don't know why, I just, the GameCube was up here and that's why I decided to use, in all honesty. So, does this bring back some memories of 1,000 views ago? This was my very first playthrough I did on this channel, the hero side story of Sonic Adventure 2. So it brings back a lot of cool memories of, you know, me doing my very first game commentaries and all that nice stuff. And wow, I'm sucking on City Escape today. And I thought for my thousandth, for my one thousandth, oh my god, I can't pronounce it, one thousandth view special, there we go. I do something Sonic related as I've looked at my channel and it's a lot of Zelda related content lately so I thought let's go ahead and let's do a Sonic themed video. So here's what you're going to do. I'll try to explain it the best way I can so I'm going to show off. There we go. So as you can see I bounced really high. So here's what you do. Get a spin dash loaded like this. And then as soon as you're about to hit a wall press the A button like so let's just say you got a spin dash going and doing the wall and then you bounce up the wall and you'll keep the momentum going with you so I'm going to put my controller in your face so you can exactly see what's going on here alright so I'm gonna go right here there we go just like that and you can use this in very humorous ways like it's not a specific glitch but you can use it in very specific ways as to have fun with it. Holy crap, I'm not being able to... For some reason, it's not really working. Okay. There we go! You can break the game in many, many humorous ways and situations that are just funny. Ooh, I forgot something on the snowboarding part of City Escape, so Sonic better run back up. Yes, you can... I'm on foot on the snowboarding section of City Escape, and it helps if you're trying to get a perfect ring score and things like that. But yeah, I just thought this was a cool glitch to show it. I'm not original by showing it off, but I hope I explained it right. Like, you spin dash next to a wall. And before you reach that wall, you jump and bounce. And it should look like this. Well, not like quite like this, but I'm going to get another good one going. I'm not perfect at executing glitches myself, but like that, there you go. Because you're keeping the momentum from the spin dash going up to the wall. So I thought that was a neat thing to do. Hey, might as well go get my extra life down here, so perfect. Unfortunately, don't earn any uh, points for stuff like that, though, so that's kind of lame, but... I thought it was just a really cool glitch to show off and all that nice stuff, so... Secondly, in the title, you uh, notice that also Green Hill SA2 playthrough... Well, yeah, that's because I completed this game uh, quite a while back, actually. So I thought, you know, might as well show that off to see what people are getting into. And how come I'm not getting any points here whatsoever? Holy crap. Uh, so I'm just going to grind up this little rail here. There we go. Got some points. Yay. But now I'm going to show off Green Hill from SA2. This is like the reward that you get for completing the game with all the A ranks and stuff like that. I guess I'm also using like this to prove that I didn't use anybody else's save file. I did this myself because you can't use another person's save file on your GameCube to do it, so... Yeah, so let's get into Green Hill. Alright, let's start. 
I'm not promising an A rank or anything here, because this stage is actually pretty picky on the A rank to get, and I am rusty at Sonic in general, so... Alright, so this is kind of it, and it's a neat reward. Like, at least they give you something to kind of look forward to for completing the game. Like, that's nice of them to actually do something. To go out of the way, and especially because it's like, this was Sonic's 10th anniversary game, and holy crap, did I just get hit by a buzz bomber? Wow. You want to keep that momentum going to chain together this specific combo. There we go. Not all that much to talk about in Green Hill, other than we got a nice remix going to Green Hill. Act 1 from Sonic... Well, Sonic the Hedgehog, the very first one. This is more like an, like an Easter egg than a level, because like I said, you never come across this level in a normal playthrough of the game. You have to complete the game to get it, so... It's just more like a hidden Easter egg level that you can get. It's almost the exact same layout as Green Hill Act 1, like, properly, from Sonic... One, which is kind of cool, I thought. Almost the same level design. Very close, but not quite. And now, but like why I say that is because you're going through these two holes and then you're going to be launched up! And, well, actually not quite. I guess it's right here. Oh, no, wait, I missed the launch pad. That's strange. Oh, I'm so not going to get an A rank for this. This is a bad job. Oh, well, what are you going to do? I just thought I'd show that off, and I could do a speedrun of this level, as I am competent at speedrunning it, so... You know, if you'd like to see that, I got a B rank. So that's cool and all that. I, I might do a speedrun of it right here, matter of fact. You know what? Screw it. This video isn't very long. I explained everything, I showed the level up, and now I'm going to rip through it, hopefully as fast as I can, so let's... Dodo Wrestling Fan, this is three videos in one, a glitch guide and a speedrun. Wow, these are like things I used to do, like, a long time ago. Ooh. Hope I don't die. And I died! Oh god, that was bad. That was really bad, folks. I'm so sorry. The camera angles here are a tad bit odd. We'll find them. You can skip this loop-de-loop, -loop, though. I just thought I'd mention that you can. And for some reason, Sonic keeps his momentum, which is a kind of a strange thing that he does. The one time that I want to speed run the levels, the one time where he does that. we get under one minute? Ah, 58 seconds, not bad. That, that isn't a bad time at all. Oh my god, I even got a 10,000, like, coin, like, coin rank in a points ranking, so, which means I just completely obliterated that stage, man. That was cool. Well, folks... I, like I said, like, at the start of this video, um, thank you very much for sticking with my channel over the past year and a half or so. This is around the time where I started to do a lot of YouTube videos in my spare time, and the reason why I don't do quite as many of them anymore is because that was when my game collection was just starting. And I play so many games these days, like I just finished Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom, and now I'm on Bayonetta 2, you know? And then not to mention with all this console collecting, like, hold on, I'm actually going to pick up the camera for a second if you look. I'm going to put on the light. Yeah, I'm going to put on the light. That's a Sega Dreamcast right there, and then, you know, I have, have an NES in that room and all that stuff, so... Things are really hectic this summer, and... There's going to be a lot of consoles and games, more, a lot more games than consoles. 
this summer that I'm still going to have to sit down and play, you know? So that's why I don't do too many videos anymore these days, but I still make sure to do, at least do one, once every two weeks or so. I'll make sure to keep making fresh content for you guys that I hope you guys like. Um, my next video is going to be a quick look at Mario Kart DLC 2, because I said in my quick look at Mario Kart 8 DLC that I was going to do it. So, yeah, that's going to be my next video, so I hope you guys enjoy that. And then the guitar cover, so you never know what that'll be, though. I don't even know what that'll be, so... Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. This is the Dorado Wrestling Fan, signing out!